Hey there, F1 fans. Get ready to buckle up and join us on a wild ride into the high-speed drama of Formula One racing. This exhilarating sport is no stranger to controversy, and we've got some juicy news for you today. The latest buzz involves Red Bull and their alleged cheating tactics, as George Russell, a driver for Mercedes, accuses the team of sandbagging to gain an unfair advantage. The tension is thick, and accusations are flying faster than a Formula One car on the track. But fear not, because we're here to uncover the truth and get to the bottom of it all. Stick with us till the very end, and we promise you won't miss a single moment of the pulse-pounding action. So, let's rev our engines and dive right in. But before we do, let's ensure we're all on the same page. If you're new to the term sandbagging, don't worry, we've got you covered. Sandbagging is a controversial tactic that teams use to deceive their competitors by hiding their performance level. During practice and qualifying sessions, they may run a heavier fuel load or take slower lines to appear slower than they are. Then, they unleash their full potential during the race to catch their opponents off guard. However, this risky tactic can easily backfire if the other teams catch on. It's still being determined whether Red Bull used this tactic in the last race. But one thing's for sure, sandbagging is a sneaky and often debated tactic that's going to be around for a while in the world of Formula One. As we all know, the 2023 Formula One season has gotten off to an impressive start for Red Bull, who have dominated the opening races with three pole positions and three victories. Their latest win came at the Australian Grand Prix, where Max Verstappen secured his second win of the season in a thrilling race at Albert Park. Despite Red Bull's early success, there have been rumors circulating that the team is not showing its full potential and is, in fact, holding back. The speculation began when George Russell, the Mercedes driver, commented during an interview with the BBC Checkered Flag podcast. Russell claimed that Red Bull is, for sure, holding back their performance this season to avoid attracting too much attention from the FIA, which could result in new rules or technical directives that would impact their dominance. Russell suggested that Red Bull has a 7 tenths advantage over the other teams on the field, but they are not using it while the other teams try to catch up. Russell's comments have sparked debate and speculation within the F1 community, with some fans and analysts wondering if Red Bull is indeed holding back. While there is no concrete evidence to support Russell's claim, the fact that Red Bull has won all three races and is showing remarkable pace on the track makes some wonder if they are hiding their true performance level. It's worth noting that Red Bull faced significant challenges heading into the 2023 season, including having the least amount of wind tunnel time and aerodynamic development. The team has also been penalized under the cost cap, which could further hinder their development. Despite these obstacles, Red Bull has been able to come out on top, showcasing their team's exceptional engineering and driving talent. In the Australian Grand Prix, Verstappen clinched his second victory of the season in a race that ended behind the safety car after multiple red flag periods. The race was exciting, with Russell leading in the early stages and his Mercedes teammate Lewis Hamilton passing pole sitter Verstappen at the start. However, a power unit failure ended Russell's hopes of winning and Verstappen took advantage of the situation, breezing past Hamilton to secure a comfortable win with a margin of almost 9 seconds at one point during the race. While Red Bull's performance has been impressive, the question remains whether or not they are genuinely holding back their full potential. If they are, it's a risky strategy that could backfire if their competitors catch on. On the other hand, if Red Bull is truly as dominant as some believe, the rest of the field has a lot of work to do to catch up. As the season progresses, it will be fascinating to see how this narrative develops and whether or not Red Bull will continue their winning streak. So, how did the Red Bull chief respond to Russell's claim? Let's find out. During the Australian Grand Prix, Max Verstappen's incredible pace towards the end of the race was attributed by Christian Horner, the Red Bull team principal, to a mistake made by Lewis Hamilton. However, George Russell's claim that Red Bull was concealing their real pace was dismissed by Horner. The race was full of dramatic incidents, with two red flags and the race ultimately finishing behind the safety car. Sergio Perez also had a strong performance, working his way up to fifth place after starting last from the pit lane. At the start of the race, both Mercedes drivers overtook Verstappen, but Russell managed to take the lead going into the first chicane. Verstappen then lost momentum heading down to turn three, and Hamilton quickly capitalized on this and overtook the Red Bull driver. Hamilton then took the lead after Russell pitted following a red flag. However, Verstappen overtook Hamilton shortly after the restart and opened up a two-second gap over the seven-time world champion in just half a lap. Mercedes was left questioning how Red Bull was able to pull away so easily, but Horner was quick to point out that Hamilton had made a mistake on that lap. He also mentioned that Red Bull had completely set up their car for the race, whereas Hamilton may have heated up his tires too aggressively in his performance. Horner further emphasized that managing the race is a critical aspect of any F1 competition, and the management was also a factor in the Australian Grand Prix. Warner also brought up Mercedes' period of dominance in F1 between 2014 and 2021, suggesting that they were well aware of the advantages of such dominance. 
he added that Perez was not holding back during the race, and the grid was now much closer than before, indicating that Red Bull's dominant performance was not due to them holding back their true pace. But what does Max Verstappen have to say about all of this? The Dutchman, who is currently leading the championship, is unfazed by the accusation and confidently declared that the FIA couldn't stop Red Bull anyway. Verstappen explained that he and his team were simply taking care of their tires, which is a crucial aspect of any F1 competition. So, did Verstappen respond correctly or not? Well, one thing's for sure, the championship race is heating up and the drama is far from over. The Australian Grand Prix was full of drama, both on and off the track. After the race, there was a heated debate between Christian Horner and George Russell about whether Red Bull was concealing their true pace. However, Verstappen, who leads the championship, was unfazed by the accusation and confidently declared that the FIA couldn't stop Red Bull anyway. When asked about the accusations, Verstappen explained that he and his team were merely taking care of their tires. We didn't really know how long that hard tire would last, so it's just about bringing it home because we had a bit of pace over the others, he said. Verstappen added that there was no need to risk destroying their tires to gain half a second a lap, especially considering the unpredictable nature of the race. Verstappen also talked about the first lap, where he lost places. He explained that he was so cautious because he didn't want to risk getting damaged. The cars behind him were really aggressive, which is fair enough. They knew they were not quick enough, so their only chance was lap one, and they took advantage of that. Verstappen's words show that Red Bull is not just relying on pure pace to win races. They are focused on the management and race strategy, which can be just as important in a sport as unpredictable as Formula One. Despite the drama and accusations, Verstappen and his team are confident that they have what it takes to stay on top of the championship standings. Let's talk about the spicy reactions from the fans regarding the recent controversy before we wrap up today's video. Christian Horner's witty retort to Mercedes' accusations has set social media ablaze, with Red Bull and F1 enthusiasts taking to Twitter to show their support. Horner's clever comeback to George Russell's claims have been met with applause from the audience, and the online world has been buzzing with reactions. Fans have pointed out that Russell always has something to whine about, and while some think he's a nice chap, they believe he needs to toughen up. Despite all this, Red Bull is being hailed as the craftiest team on the grid, and Horner's mic drop response to Mercedes has won him admiration from fans tagging Red Bull to voice their support. Formula One is always full of drama and excitement, and this season is no different. The rivalry between Mercedes and Red Bull has reached new heights, with accusations and counter-accusations flying around. But at the end of the day, we're all united by our love of the sport. So, let's keep cheering for our favorite teams and drivers and see where the rest of the season takes us. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe to stay updated on all the latest news. Until next time, take care and keep enjoying the thrill of the race.